Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Today I'm going to be going through a quick tutorial on how to create a he helical gear in SOLIDWORKS. So to get started I've just opened up a blank part file. If you go to sketch, we'll click on the front plane and draw a circle at 50mm in diameter. Exit that sketch, go to features extrude it 10 mil and I'm going to do the direction in the mid plane and take that. I'm going to click on the front face of the gear, click sketch and I'm going to draw a line from the center and make that line 25 mil long. Sorry, 30 mil long. I'm going to make this line a construction line. Then I'm going to draw a trapezoid. Make, so I've drawn this little arrangement here for the gear. So if I click this top line, make that. I've sort of kept, kept my finger on control, select the line and the point. I've got midpoint. And then I'm going to go and put the, make these two points coincidence with the circle on the gear. I'm going to give it a height. It's already got the height from this dimension here. So I'm going to put in an angle of 70 degrees. If I let's make it 60 degrees, give it time, that's better. I'm also Seems a little big looking at that, so I'm going to reduce that to 27.5. Bring that in. That's better. So if I give this a dimension of 5 mil. So this is the first sketch we need to cre create when making our helical gear. So now I'm going to exit this sketch. I'm going to go over to the other side of the gear and create a sketch on this face. So I'll just go normal to that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert the entities on what I've just drawn. So if I keep my finger on control, select the sketch entities I've just drawn and go convert entities. Highlight them. I'm just going to delete the relations here. So if you click on the line, any relation comes up in a little green box. So it's so I've deleted it. So now this is free. So what I'm going to do is select my lines, and up here you've got move entities. So I'm going to move over to the drop down box, and I'm going to go to rotate entities. So it's asking for a center of rotation. So I'm going to rotate it 10, de 10 degrees. Don't know why it's doing that. Ten, not 100 degrees, 10, 10 degrees. Try again. Right, I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. And it's asking for my center of rotation, which I'm going to click the origin. So what I did there was I, I shouldn't have put the degrees in first. So click your center of rotation and then click and then put your degrees in and tick it. So now I've rotated that round 10 degrees. So I'm just going to define it now by going to the sketch, just get, making that construction line, midpoint, 10 degrees, making that construction line as well. And then just 27.5 and then putting the angles on so it fully defines it 60 degrees 60 degrees and then the height from there to the, not the height sorry the width from there to there 5 mil 
and two mil. So there you go. So now that's fully defined. So now if I exit this sketch, I've got two sketches on each face of the gear. So now if I go to features and then I go to loft, click this profile and then this profile. So now, as you can see, um, the loft is twisted. So to guide it, you've got these two dots here. So to, to make it not twist, you need to change these dots so they're on the same point on each sketch. So if I tick that, and then you're getting this, that's the first tooth to your gear. So from there, if I go to where it says linear pattern, drop down menu, circular pattern. So we want to, run, it's already selected the feature we want to um, pattern, which is loft one. So if I go to view, and then go to temporary axes, I'll click direction, click your axis in the middle, and put how many teeth we want in. So let's make it 20. So put 20 teeth in. So we'll tick that. And there we have it. So just to finish it off, I'm going to just go sketch on the front face. Put a circle in for a shaft to go through the middle of the gear of 25 mil. And let's do a cut through that. Through all, take that, and then we'll put a, to um, a tooth in it. So just do the same again. So just square. And make this square. Uh, five mils a bit of it. Make it 2.5, 2.5. Then if you extrude cut through there, using that sketch, and same again, direction through all, tick it. There you go, you have a helical gear. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, it, please subscribe to my channel if you found this tutorial interesting. There's plenty more where that came from, tutorial-wise. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, um, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.